Welcome to this vlog. Take them back, take them back, take them back, take them back now. I take it back on some nostalgic shit. Oh, you wild and bitch. Been doing this since before I was a college kid. Let's go. Who this shit remind me of? The summertime, the slip and slide, some bump and grind. Who this shit remind me of? The parking lot, the skipping class, the smoking pot. Who this shit remind me of? Parties with the freshmen, second base on the couch. Plus she gave me mouth to mouth. Who this shit remind me of? Trying to make a fake ID, walked into the liquor. It's really freaking loud because. Excuse you. We're gonna just leave. Uh, my neighbors are getting their tree, their big ass tree in their front yard torn down. And I thought they were gonna be done by Friday, but I guess they came back for more. Um, so we're driving away now though, it's fine. I have a lot of updates for you guys. Um, this vlog, <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna be because it's basically a vlog about me getting my shit together. Sorry, this is my mask chain that keeps going in front of the camera. I'll take that down for you guys. But I'm basically trying to get my shit together. Stop. This week and next week are like my final weeks of school. I think next week is when all my finals are happening. And this week is like when we're finishing up like projects and last minute assignments and stuff like that. Update number one, um, I'm going to a different school next semester. And I changed my major. My, blah, blah, blah. I changed my major. Um, I just was not feeling teaching anymore. I was just, this past semester has been really hard for me in my teaching classes and it's just very, it's very draining. And I was like, you know what, break this. I don't want to be in a profession where I'm gonna feel drained every single day. So I'm not doing that profession anymore. <laughs> I talked to my parents and I decided to change it to digital marketing, which is basically content creation for brands. And so it's literally something I do for my own brand. It's what I do for my Instagram, my YouTube. I'm literally making content. Sorry, it's so dark. Um, I'm literally making content for my brand. So that's literally what I'm gonna be going to school for. It's what I already love doing outside of school and work. And I'm starting at the fall at, starting at the fall, starting in the fall, Lindenwood University. It's a university here um, in St. Louis, St. Charles area. And that's where I will be going to finish my bachelor's degree in digital marketing. It should only, I cannot talk today. It should only take me like two years to do. So that's super exciting. And then I can get a big girl job. <laughs> um, speaking of jobs also, my parents made me quit. <laughs> they made me quit my job because they are paying for my school, and I'm very, very, very appreciative and very grateful for the life that I live and where I am and the fact that my parents pay for my school and I don't have to pay for my school. I have to quit my job because my parents, since they're paying so much for the school, the school is kind of expensive. Um, they don't want me to have any other distractions. So yeah, those are two very big updates. Hope you guys are having a great day. You guys are seeing this. It's a Monday today, obviously, like I said earlier, but you guys are gonna be seeing this the following Monday. So yeah, hope you guys are having a great Monday, if that's the day that you're watching. If it's not, I hope you're having a great day regardless. Um, let's freaking get it this week. Let's freaking do it. I just got done with the grocery store. Um, so I can give you my other two updates. I guess one's not really an update, it's just like a getting my shit together thing. I guess they're both kind of like get my shit together things. Anyways, one, get my shit, I seriously can't freaking talk still. Um, one of my get my shit together things slash updates is that I'm starting a new, I don't want to call it a diet because I do not like diet culture. I'm going to call it a lifestyle slash healthy routine choice. Um, so my parents are starting this diet um, this week and over the weekend we were like, okay, let's do a challenge. How about you guys do your diet and then we'll do our own type of like healthy eating slash workout situation, me and my sister, and we'll see who wins. So it's me and my sister doing a healthy workout slash eating routine given to us like literally 
like written out and given to us and everything by my friend Ivy. She likes, she studies nutrition. Um, it's what she likes to, you know, do. It's what she works on. And so she made like a full like nutrition plan for us and a workout plan and everything. And so we're starting that with her and my parents are doing their own thing and we're going to see because it's supposed to be like a like a 30 day situation or something like that. And we're gonna see who loses the most weight or feels the best and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's a challenge. However, it's more of like we all need to get our butts in gear and start eating healthier and like, you know, getting our lives in shape. So I'm doing that. So I went to the store and I got like all the stuff that Ivy said would be good to eat. She told me that I need to start working on my sugar intake because I really, I eat a lot of things with high sugar in them. And I also need to work on my dairy because I am lactose intolerant. However, sometimes I just freaking do it. I just freaking eat dairy and I'm like, frick it. I, I'll just eat it and I'll deal with the consequences later. And sometimes they really come to bite me in the butt. And so she's trying to make me not eat as much dairy and lower my sugar intake. So I really focused on that. Oh, my camera's slipping. Chill out. Chill out, bro. Okay. I truly tried... Frick! When am I going to get my phonics down today? Um, I really tried to work on that when I was grocery shopping today. And while I was grocery shopping today, I got some reusable bags. Because that's my second get my shit together in my life thing, update, whatever you want to call it. I, after Earth Day this year, it was last week, I just... It really impacted me. I always used to use plastic bags, except when I went to like Aldi, I used paper. And I really need to quit doing that. I need to try and make a difference. And so I bought some reusable bags to start using for grocery store, farmer's market, any type of store that I go to that uses plastic bags. I'm gonna bring my reusable bags, start using those. Um, and I also heard a fact from Earth Day from one of the like, influencers that I follow that was cleaning up like a beach for Earth Day and she said she told her followers that your toothbrush that you use will always be on this earth because they are not you know they're, they're not recyclable they're not they don't decompose so I wanted to get a recyclable toothbrush or like one that can decompose because there is ones like that out there but I freaking forgot at Walmart because I was like in the zone, my head was in the game, shopping for food, and I was, there were so many old ladies, and I was just trying to get out of there. So I forgot. However, I'm definitely going to go out tomorrow and find one. And then, at the dentist, I don't have to get a toothbrush anymore. I can just keep using one that I know is going to make a difference on the earth. Sounds really cheesy, but it's not. It's making a difference in the earth, and... One more person that makes these differences can make a big difference. So that's what I see it as, and that's what I'm trying to do. I guess I could do a haul. Should I do a haul when I get inside of my groceries? Ooh, let me do that. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go do a haul. Okay, the lighting in here sucks. Don't talk to me about that. But let's do a real quick haul. Okay, cheese, obviously. Turkey bacon, love that. Um, these are low, like, carb balanced uh, tortillas. Got some almond milk because, you know, dairy substitute. Got some Greek yogurt to make my own ranch that is healthier than, you know, Hidden Valley because I love ranch. Then I got some, you know, better for you waffles. Balanced breaks for some snacks. Some veggie pasta and veggie tots for like, you know, healthier version, healthier substitute of pasta and tater tots. Healthy little dessert, these Yasuo Greek yogurt bars. This is the creamer that I got. Another milk substitute, love that. Um, better peanut butter, I suppose you can mix this with water and it's like less fattening for you than regular peanut butter. Got a milk frother to make my coffees at home. Some baked Lays because these have, you know, less fat. And some Oreo thins because they're, you know, less sugar, less fat than regular cookies. Oh, and I got some zero sugar Gatorade because I really love soda, so that's my, that's my substitute for soda. So yeah, that's my haul. I'm gonna go put this all away now. So 
I went to the farmer's market. As you saw, I took a little clip of the little farmer's market. It's super cute. Um, and I got celery, um, strawberries, a, a cucumber, a cantaloupe, and oh, some bell peppers. Um, I wasn't gonna have time to do a little haul when I get home because I gotta rush home, put this stuff away, and then like head to work. So <laughs> I'm just gonna list those off to you what I got right now. And then um, I went in with my little uh, reusable bag. Look how cute I am. Saving the earth, we love it. I really wanna get back into vlogging considering I'm about to be done with school, about to be done with work. They get done the first week of June. So I'll be done with work and school, all of that by June 1st. And then I'm babysitting my um, mom's friend's kid. That was a mouthful. Um, I'm babysitting her this summer. So that'll be like a little job, like a little income before I'm like officially done with working for like the next two years. Hey, what's up? Um, it's been a couple days since I've seen you. It is now Thursday, and I saw you on Monday. Oh, I guess I need directions. I am going to get my hair cut and thinned out a little bit, so I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys that, and then like do like a little before and after. Um, and that's also something that I've been trying to get my shit together on. I've tried to be kind of restoring my hair to it's beauty, I guess. Um, but I'll talk about that after I get my hair cut because I don't have a ton of time. I need to eat a quick, a quick, a quick uh, little on-the-go lunch that I brought um, before I go. Okay, all done. Why so dark? Ugh. Let me drive. Let me let me drive, and it'll probably get better. Who knows? Um, anyways, so I wish that my hair could freaking look like this and feel like this every day of my life, but it doesn't and I'm real sad about it. I just got literally like my dead ends cut off. That sounds morbid. I just basically got my scraggly ass ends cut off and then like my hair thinned out. That's literally all I did. I was gonna go shorter for summer cause like I get so freaking hot in the summer, but I decided not to because I kind of like my hair long. I'm kind of digging the long hair right now, especially with my curls. They just look better on long hair. I've been trying to keep better care of my hair recently. I noticed when I was brushing my hair the other day, because I brush it with a wide tooth comb now, um, because I heard that that's better for like thicker hair and it like keeps your curls better if you have natural like curl and natural wave, which I do. And so I've been combing my hair for about a year with a wide tooth comb. And when I got out of the shower, I'd put like my detangler in and then I would go to comb my hair and I would go through these knots in my hair and like a whole, the whole knot would come out of my hair. Like it wouldn't brush through my knot, it would literally just come out. And I'm like, I'm so annoyed with having so much like hair loss because I would like just shed hair after a shower and like after brushing my hair that I was just like I'm done with this I need to figure out some kind of situation and so I am starting to do a hair mask once a week and I did it on Sunday and I noticed a big difference this week because my hair felt softer and when I combed through my hair um, Sunday after I got out of the shower. It was like so smooth. It was so easy, so much easier to comb through. There was no knots coming out. Like I thought it felt a lot better. So I'm gonna do that once a week. Um, I've also been, I used to wash my hair every other day, but I've decided to add on another day of not washing it because I, because there's always a saying of like, the longer you go with wash without washing your hair is better for your hair. That plus like, I use a moisture cream and a curl cream and I feel like that's always kind of helped my like curls look a little bit better. So I'm just trying to get my hair together and in order. I'm trying to get my hair looking luscious and bombastic and you know, it's fine. Whatever, we're struggling. Hello guys, it's been another couple days since I updated you. I wanted to show you because I'm about to get in the shower. Uh, I did a 30 minute workout, that's why I'm in workout clothes. Did a little 30 minute workout this morning, it was real good. Freaking died on that one um but i wanted to show you some of the hair products that i mentioned on 
Thursday after my haircut that I use. Okay, they're a little wet right now, but this is a hair mask that I use. Um, I'll be using it today. It is, this isn't gonna focus on it. <coughs> uh, it's the Dove Amplified Textures Moisture Spot Recovery Mask for coils and curls. So, um, I thought I would try it because on the little like ad, it also said it was good for waves. So, so far it's, I, I mean, I like I liked my hair last week after I used it, so we'll keep on using it. Then I used the um, Pantene Nutrient Blends Shampoo and Conditioner. I got an intense hydration conditioner and a moisture boost shampoo right now. Um, but that could change, but I, I use the same like line and brand, you know? Okay, so that's it for the um, shower part of the situation. But I wanted to show you guys what I do after the shower. So after the shower, I put in my detangler because my hair is way too like hard to come through without detangler, so I have to use detangler. So I use this Garnier, Garnier, have a pronounced it, Fructis Pure Clean Detangler plus Air Dry plus Aloe Extract. I use this one, been using this for a while. I love the smell and it seems to work a lot better than any of the other detanglers that I've tried. And then I comb through my hair with my little wide tooth comb. And then I use this, which my mom got this in a, one of those boxes. What is that box called? Um, Fat Fit Fun. Yes, that one. Um, she got this and it's AG Hair Care Fast Food Leave-On Conditioner. It's for moisture. Um, and she didn't need it because she has really thin, short hair, so she gave it to me. And I've been using this for like, a year and a half maybe it's lasting me that long because I don't use that much um, but I use this combined with this it's the verb curl cream um, and I really like both of these combined to you know I like put like a little stripe of each of them in my hand mix them together and then like scrunch up my hair with them um, so I think it like creates those curls a little bit better for my no wash days on my hair um, I use this I have tried other um, dry shampoos and I don't like them as much so I love the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak dry shampoo. I really love this one. I wanted to show you guys because my hair is completely dry now. Um, it takes my hair like a long time to dry. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys what the final product was after I used all of my things. So as you can see my hair is naturally curly, um, naturally wavy and so I think that the um, yeah, you can kind of see it there. But, uh, I think that the moisture mask definitely helps because it, my hair feels a lot softer. And, um, like I said, when I comb through it after the shower, it's not as knotty and, like, tangled. So, it's easier to comb through. Um, I think the, mo the moisture mask has a, you know, a hand in helping with that. And then also the curl cream and the moisture cream really help my hair hold all this curl and even like the after like day three of not washing my hair um i'll like i put my hair in a bun at night so it like doesn't get all tangled and messy overnight and then when i wake up and i go to comb through it it's it's curly again like it's not as curly as it was obviously this first day but it's still curly and that's what i really like so um my hair thankfully holds the curl and that's I'm gonna owe that to a lot of the products that I use. Who this shit remind me of parties with the freshman second base on the couch plus she gave me mouth to mouth. Who this shit remind me of trying to make a fake ID walked into the liquor store but they ain't selling shit to me. Who this shit remind me of?